Nathan, what do you think? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. All right, so we're picking up the super right now. I'm with Nathan. Just gonna grab this. It has been a minute since I've got the car, but looking at it now, it looks fucking sick. Holy hell, that Dude. looks so good. Fitman, I didn't think I liked the Fitman on the front from the pictures I saw, but that actually looks good. You can toss much of a Swiss from there. Bro, this thing is insane, bro. <laughs> Yo, you see how low it is over here? <laughs> Why are we going to drive this thing? It's going to be hard to get it out of here. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get out. We got the, the Brembo's on, the Signature Works Type 3 kit, the new Apex wheels, the VS5 RS's. Yes. That is cool. Alright, so as you see, the car looks completely different than before. Beeline in the background. Nikolai did all the work onto it. From what I know, they absolutely killed it. But I did shout out a work real quick just to come grab it. Thank shout out to Nathan. Say what's up, Nathan. So yeah, we gotta head back to work now, but I am obsessing with how the car looks. Welcome back to the channel. Melly, say hi to the... Say hi. Say hi. It has been a while since I recorded my last video. We have been very, very busy. There's been a lot going on, but I'm proud to show the Supra has made a ton of progress. I think the last video, I think I was explaining like some of the install that was going on, with like the Brembo's and the white sap and stuff. The car is sitting back on the ground with the big brake kit. It's got the new wheels on, the alignment, and looks amazing. We'll start from the back. Last time on video, we were fitting, we had Advent GTs on the car. With the current setup, we couldn't fit Advent GTs, so we're on the Apex VS5 RSs. Behind there, you can see there's a Brembo big brake kit. This kit was supplied by Signature Works, A90 rear end retrofit big brake kit, and it has the Type 3 slotted rotors. Another thing we did for the rear as well was we did all, we pulled all the arms, and it's converted to a SPL suspension in the back. So now we can actually adjust the camber and I think the toe and everything. We couldn't do that before. And actually when the car was sitting, it would have a lot of like natural negative camber, which I didn't want. It was like sitting at like negative three and a half or negative four and a half degrees. Uh, now it's at one degree. It's almost like flush. And if you see, can I show you real quick? The fitment is insane. I really like these wheels because you can like, if you see from here, like you can't even see the brakes. Like there's a ton of concave and I'm, I love concave wheels. But then when you get down, you can see the Brembo's in there. So as you can see at the front, same wheels, the VS5 RS, but this one is not for an A90, this is actually for an E90. The reason being is when you convert Wise Fab on these A90 Supras, it requires you to change to a E90 M3 front end. So you gotta go from 5x120 to 5x120. If you wanna do a big brake kit and run Wise Fab, you have to keep in mind, you're gonna have to run a big brake kit for an E90 M3. Of course, the wheel's a lot less aggressive. It's an 18x9, I think plus 30, I forget the exact offset. But when you run these wise pad kits, it, it acts as a drop knuckle and the lower control arm pushes the wheel out about two and a half inches. And then you're also seeing at like negative seven degrees camber. But when you run this kit, you have to run a much smaller wheel than you do in the rear because you're gonna run into like a lot of like clearance issues, which is actually what we're gonna be fixing today. Back here, we're rubbing right back here. And so I'm gonna have to trim. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy with how it, it sits because it's, it looks amazing. There's a lot we had to figure out with this because it's such a new chassis and being that it's not like, this is like a street drift car. It's not a, like a pro comp car. If it was like an official pro comp car, then we just like strip it down to like the bare chassis and then make everything super custom fab. This is like an out of the box street car drift car kind of a build. So there's a lot of headaches that you run into with stuff like this because there's only like not really anyone that's done it other than, you know, like I said, let's go TJ Hunt, but being that everything's set now, everything's good, it drives amazing. I do need to trim that a little bit and bash on my fender a little bit, but we're just gonna trim the fiberglass for right now because it's pretty much like the main thing that's rubbing. I didn't realize that the 
uh, the e-brake wasn't on when I was turning it. Okay, you're running on both sides. There's a ton of lock. Everything is pretty much clear, except for right here. You can see exactly where it's rubbing. So we're gonna trim all this. It's trimming on the other side as well. And once we get this all trimmed, then it shouldn't grab the fender or move it around. Cause you can see like, it'll, of course the tire's gonna grab it and make it move. But you can hear, you can see like all the white stab and all the stuff from the back cause there's a ton of lock. But yeah, let's get the trimming. piece trimmed off it's not much but you can kind of see like where the tires are being you can actually like see like this would like actually run through all the paint on the primer just a straight fiberglass but it should be off i mean it should be enough i'm going to kind of like try to clean it up a little bit it's not the cleanest cut ever pretty jagged but i'm going to go around and sand it so it's like a little bit cleaner this is just a, a first cut just to see if it actually clears now without rubbing so looking at it it's actually pretty funny how like similar in size Granted, I did like a little bit more sanding on the other side. Uh, how similar, like, I had to trim off these pieces, but both are trimmed now. Let's see real quick if it rubs. I don't think it will, but if it does, we're gonna just trim more. All right, so actually, we're gonna cut the video there. I was gonna put on some spacers, but I realized we went to a spline socket <laughs> and I don't have the, the proper socket to get those off so we'll be doing that next video spacing it out kind of tweaking a couple things on the car but yeah if you guys have any questions more than happy to answer them just leave them down below I hope you guys like the video as happy with the progress as I am on this car I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching